is going to go over different styles of fasteners to attach uh, the custom clear tarps that we supply. So uh, tarps are attached on the perimeter and customers often will say, well, how do I attach this to my structure? I have these limitations and this video will go over some of those options to maybe help you find a solution that will work for you. So the first one we're going to talk about is a twist lock. And a twist lock is very common for a custom clear enclosure. And the reason that these are so popular is because of their ease of use. So you have two components. You have a special oval um, grommet, which is installed on the tarp. And then you have a fastener, which is called the twist lock, which gets secured to your structure. So these screws come down, they go into your structure, and this actually stays there all year round. And then you can take your tarp down, store it, and then when it's ready next year, you can put it on. And the fasteners, you know, it's, it's there waiting for you. Now this works by putting the tarp on here and then you give this a half turn and what it's doing is it's going into those grooves that you see there and it's locking it in place so that it can't blow off. And then when you want to take it off, obviously you just twist it back so that's this way and then it comes off. So these are really nice. Um, it's worth noting that this type of fastener does not work with a round grommet. So a traditional uh, tarp would have a round grommet. But if you want to use these, you can't use them after the fact. It has to be uh, made with that special, that special grommet. The next style is a cornice hook. So what a cornice hook is, it's basically just this little L shaped with it's got some screws on it. And you can put this into a wood structure, um, other structures too, I suppose, if you drill a pilot hole. And then you can... You can see here's some examples of it attached, and you can just hang your tarp you know, quickly by just putting that all the way in or taking it out a little bit. You actually don't have to take this out. Um, you can just manipulate the tarp enough that you can just kind of like take it off this hook, or you can twist it a little bit to give you some wiggle room to get it off the hook. So these are extremely inexpensive and very, uh, very useful for hanging tarps. Another really inexpensive method for mounting is an eye leg screw. So this is a screw that has a hole in it, and this allows you to put your tarp on. And then when it's on, you just take a piece of steel or something and you put it through this little opening, and that keeps the tarp from blowing off. It doesn't really have to stick out this far. You can actually uh, screw this all the way in, so it's pretty close to the opening. So very inexpensive and very easy to install. A tarp bungee cord is very useful. So you have an elastic cord here, and this cord goes through the grommet and loops back around off of something and then just goes around the knob. So it's basically held in place by this knob. And you can use these for connecting two tarps together, as you can see this person has done here. And you can also attach to a beam. So this is the most common method we see people using these for, is they would have a beam and they go around the beam and they loop back to it. So this also is good because you don't have to uh, drill or put any kind of a fastener on your structure. So when these are not needed, you can quickly take them down, store them, and you don't have any fasteners, you know, they're showing. You can get these on Amazon. They sell them in bags of 20 and they're, they're very expensive. Sleeve expansion anchors and just regular screws um, work great. So an expansion anchor, the way this works is you drill a pilot hole um, and then you put in your expansion anchor and then when you screw this down it's going to push outward on the sides basically holding this in place uh, securely. Um, this works great if you're going to be taking your tarp up and down every year and you want to just have this in place ready for it for the next season. Um, another way which is really quick is to just use a regular wood screw or concrete screw, or depending on what you're attaching to. And then you have a washer, which is as large or larger than the OD of the grommet. So the grommet, you can see, is here with the copper color, and you're just pinching it against the structure. So both of these are very common ways that we see customers attaching our tarps. Snaps are great if you are attaching um, to a surface which is not too large. So a snap essentially is a screw that goes into your structure and then the snap will attach to that. So you put your snaps in and you're going to have to obviously measure to make sure they're in the right locations. 
and then you put in the screws and then you simply just snap on the tarp. So these are 15 millimeters. If you need something that's longer or maybe you need a different type of screw, you can just purchase those online from a variety of sources. We only have the ones that are just standard screws. So it's rare that this doesn't work, uh, but uh, you, can, you can get those from a variety of places. And uh, it's not recommended for very large uh, tarps due to wind load. So with your wind blowing in, you don't want this to pop off. So we, we typically say nothing larger than 10 feet in any direction uh, for using snaps. And also these are really good for uh, screen doors as well. Another type of snap is a stick-on snap. So the way these work is you have a sticky pad, and these are extremely sticky. Um, and you would put these in the locations where you're going to want your snaps. So uh, when the tarp arrives, we'll, we will have the snaps already installed in the tarp, and then you would just line up where that would go uh, in the location, obviously, that you're wanting to be placed on. So these are... Uh, 1.6 inches in diameter. Uh, so you're going to want to place these just outside, obviously, of your opening. So when you order your tarp, you're going to want to make sure that uh, these are to the outside. And we typically make the webbing 2 inches. So, and then the grommet obviously is in the middle. So you can uh, put these to the outside. I would err on it being a little larger when you're measuring than a little smaller so that you definitely clear your opening. And uh, these are great for screen doors, which you can see here. We can do cutouts for doggy doors. And uh, just be aware that this is a industrial type adhesive, so it's not something you're just going, it's not like um, these stick-on pads you use to hang Christmas decorations and, and whatnot that just peels right off when you're done with it. It's, it's very, it's very sticky. If it's not possible to mount to the vertical surface of your structure, then you can actually mount to the underside. So here's a good example of a mount where it's using a U-shaped eye plate, which is this component here, and then we have a quick link. So this unscrews, you can put it through the U-shaped eye plate, and then of course through the grommet, and then you can support it from the top down as this customer did here. So that's really useful if you have an underside you're trying to mount to. Sometimes it's not possible to anchor into a structure um, such as your vertical wall. So I'll just briefly hit on some of the ideas that we have for uh, anchoring into the ground. So uh, the first one is a floor anchor with a, uh, a clip, snap hook clip they call these. So you can put that into the grommet and then obviously it goes around to the floor anchor. And we supply these uh, Acon curtains, and we don't supply these. But uh, essentially you can buy this, and of course we supply the tarp, and you can just get yourself some clips. Uh, the second method is a bolt-down anchor, which has a uh, tie-down strap. So we also supply these straps, and of course we supply these anchors. And in this method, you just tighten this uh, up and usually there's quite a bit of distance here this isn't going to fit really tight to the ground so you need to be aware of that and this is kind of like a tension strap another one if you don't have concrete wood or, or a paver to attach to you have soil anchors and this soil anchor is sold by a company called ground graba that's g-r-a-b-b-a and you can put this into the ground and then again just use a small hook going into the grommet um, wind webbing actually is kind of an anchoring method um, that's not really attaching the tarp, but rather it's taking wind load. So if you have a situation where you kind of have a large tarp and you have high wind volume, you want to make sure that all the stress is not on the grommets. Um, we do make strong tarps, but that being said, uh, everything has its limitations. So what you can do is you can use this tie-down strap, and they sell these on Amazon. They're, they're typically used for tying down loads uh, on like a trailer, you know, like a personal trailer, something small. But these can go from the bottom or from the top to the bottom. And then when the wind blows, the stress is being taken by this strap here and here, and it's taking it off of your connection points. 
Um, it's it's actually not fully taking it off the connection points. It's more of a distribution of, of the of the load of the wind. And then you can space these, you know, every six feet or however far apart you think you need them. But this is actually a really good method for for areas where you're seeing uh, fairly high winds. Uh, one other method which we see a lot of is just a bottom pocket. So we supply a pocket in the bottom of your tarp. And I believe these are like three inches. And then you can take a PVC pipe and put it into the bottom of the tarp. Here someone used even an elbow to make it look really nice to go all the way around. And that keeps it weighted down uh, to the ground so that you don't have wind blowing in from the bottom. So it's worth noting when you give us dimensions, we don't add the pocket height. So if you tell us you want a 10 foot tall tarp with a pocket, it's going to be 10 feet um, from the bottom to the bo from the top to the bottom of the pocket. If you're going to be attaching uh, one tarp to another tarp, we have some ideas for you. Um, the reason you would do this, obviously, is maybe an access point. So let's say it's kind of large and you want a way to get in and out of here. So uh, the first method is to just use grommet to grommet, and then you can attach these using snap hooks or bungee cords that we talked about earlier. Now, please be aware that we don't automatically line up grommets on tarps. So if you want to do this, uh, when you place your order, just let us know that you want the grommets to line up on the verticals, and then we can make sure we do that. And uh, here you can see we're using a snap hook. So the customer is just using snap hooks to connect these together. Um, the most common method by far is a zipper. So you have a zipper and goes up and down. So maybe it's a nice day and just leave this unzipped and you can get in and out. And if it's cold, you can go in and zip it back down. The uh, bungee cord method um, is ideal if maybe your grommets are a little off, maybe you forgot to tell us, or maybe you just want to use them anyway. And then you can attach these uh, as such. So um, those are three ideas for getting access into and out of your, your uh, tarp enclosure.